Ian Smart and Stefan Logan back for the Lions. Led 17 nothing after one quarter here tonight. Aided by a couple turnovers, a couple interceptions from Corey Banks. Logan now kicking it outside. Look out now. Here goes the mighty might to the 45 yard line. Well, so far, Buck Pierce has won the battle of the quarterbacks for sure. And he's won it by taking care of the football. Those two interceptions by Quinton Porter looming large in this football game. Two touchdowns, on the other hand, for Buck Pierce as he continues his hot streak. Looking for consecutive victory number four here at the helm of the BC Lions. No interceptions last week. Again, he got knocked out of the game by Maurice Lloyd in Regina. Lions got the win, also avoided a few beer cans there in Saskatchewan. Jason Claremont, who could not play last week, that close to a first down, suffered a stinger a couple weeks ago. Well, so many weapons, it's tough to defend this BC Lions offense. Jason Claremont gets his opportunity. Two clearing routes on the outside. Coleman and Wilson both run deep. Claremont runs it quick out underneath. Plenty of room to work for about nine and a half yards. Second short yardage again for Jarius Jackson. Well, time to burn one. Goes for Claremont again, and he dropped it. And that is something you do not see very often. No, and chalk that one up as a missed opportunity. It was the right call at the right time. Everybody anticipating the run to Stefan Logan. Jason Claremont just runs all the way across the field. That one hurt. Yeah, Claremont again missed last week. He's with that catch. Had he made that, he would have moved into fifth place on the BC list for receiving. Claremont's still suffering from that stinger from a couple weeks ago as Jackson goes forward for the first down. Usually dependable, durable, and again, he had that little burner that little stinger from a couple weeks ago that kept him out of last week and he might be hurt again we see Jason Claremont making his way off the field as the Lions go back to their regular offense there has to be a little bit of concern over on the sidelines such a big part of that BC offense one of those possession guys particularly good on second down when you need that seven yards for a first down Buck Pierce out of the backfield for Charles Roberts short of the first down Daryl Adams brought him down Claremont kind of warm on the sidelines does not look like he's right well it may go back to this collision where Tyler Smith came underneath him you see him come down hard on that right shoulder. This looks like he's having a bit of an issue catching that football. Yeah. He let that one get into his pads. Second down and four. Oh, what a play! O'Neal Wilson, thank you very much. That's a touchdown. A little tip drill, but they're saying he stepped out of bounds there were no whistles the official on the sideline said he stepped out of bounds but a little tip drill here well I've heard of quarterbacks taking hits for their receivers to make plays you don't often see other receivers taking a hit for the quarterback to make a play watch number eight Brett Anderson on this one he's the intended receiver off his hands he gets drilled Straight to O'Neal Wilson. Who wasn't out of bounds. No, he was not out of bounds. So Buck Pierce on first and ten. Play action again, going for G. Roy to the end zone. Lawrence Gordon 
shadowing him again. Go back to that previous play with O'Neill Wilson and the call that was made. Looked like a chip, uh, looked like a tip trail there for a second. Well, it's not like this was a hook and ladder where Brett Anderson caught the football. It just went off his hand. It was a deflected ball. Wilson makes a clean catch. And gone for a touchdown. Why is that not a touchdown? And the Lions tried to take it into their own hands and take a shot at the end zone. There's G. Roy Simon with that thin post route again. Lawrence Gordon gets the hands up at just the right time. It baffles me. Well, they had to scrimmage again. To get some clarification on that. Wilson again, that's for a first down. Let's go down to Farhan now. Well, Ron, apparently the ruling on the field was that O'Neill Wilson was ruled down. Uh, you, you'll recall when he caught the ball, his knee was on the ground. Did he get hit by a defender before no. that? I'm not sure what the replay shows. So the Lions and the sideline are as perplexed as anyone else. Yeah, he was, uh, I mean, he was down on his knee, but there was no one there to touch him at the time. There was nobody around him. Stevon Logan. He dropped the football, it's a fumble, and it's Hamilton's football, it looks like. We'll wait for the call. It is the Tiger Cats have it. What a strange turn of events here. From what appeared to be a touchdown to a Tiger Cat turnover. Well, the officials talking this over, but this is a baffling one, and... Watch again the deflection to O'Neill Wilson, who is not down by any stretch. And you know what? It's a touchdown. And then moments later, Stephon Logan fumbles the football. The Tiger Cats get it back. And it looks like a huge break here for Hamilton. Well, just a bizarre turn of events over the course of three plays. The Lions go from thinking they've added seven points to their lead to not even having the football. Kenton Keith tried to avoid the grasp of Brent Johnson, but he was brought down. Surprised there were no challenges, or nobody really said anything after that. Well, remember that challenge flag has to be thrown before the ball is snapped for the next play. And I really suspect there was probably just so much confusion on the BC sideline about what the ruling even was that they didn't have time to figure out what they'd be challenging. Second and long again. Tiger Cats have had problems converting second downs here tonight. Quinton Porter, here comes the rush, and fumbles, and Otis Floyd has it. So maybe payback here for the Lions. Yeah, it just seems like in some strange way, justice has been served by this turnover. Once again, Aaron Hunt, strong side defensive tackle, number 90, is the man who comes free on this play. Untouched somehow in that protection scheme, clearly a breakdown or miscommunication. His hit creates the fumble. Looks like the center, Marwan Hage, may have slid too far to his right in that protection scheme. And left the gap to his left open. Wide open, touchdown, G. Roy Simon again! He might want to get that football back and give it to O'Neal Wilson. <laughs> and Lions overload their formation to the left. G. Roy Simon. Lines up to the right side of the formation. Just simple crossing pattern. We all know 81's got a nose for the end zone. Second major of the night. Seventh of the season for G-Roy. And so after a bewildering turn of events, the Lions lead still extended.